If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering how to make the best tags are possible. Well, I've got the video for you. Let's get straight into it. First of all, don't make everything the same color. Of course, don't overdo it with a bunch by using one or two additional contrasting colors or even shades of the same one, like baby pink and pastel red, and have your set look way less boring. If you're unsure if a color you want to use for your set will fit, I recommend searching in your inventory for items in that color and trying them on. Chances are, you have the colors needed. This will help you save resources, especially rare and expensive ones like peaches or neon flowers. Don't make it overcrowded. If you want to use patterns, only do as accents. Don't use patterns too similar to the code, as they tend to make everything look very busy. Don't make everything the same theme or pattern, like Toastal Hat plus Toastal Laura plus Pattern Saddle Pad. There should be a healthy mix. This is an important one. Have unique ideas. Don't just give your title a basic coral set or your springy watermelon pink. Experiment with more contrasting colors. You'll be surprised to see how good a title may look in red or a clownfish mustang in blue. But remember that the tag and the horse complement each other, so make sure the tag isn't washed out or overpowered by the horse. Don't force yourself to make tag sets. If you have no motivation for the set, that's fine. You can deal with it later. If you force yourself into making a set you're not enjoying, it won't look as good and you're likely to give up halfway. If you're enjoying the video so far, I'd love to remind you to like and subscribe. On my channel, I make occasional bother silent videos such as leaks, news and rankings. So if that's something you're interested in, you won't regret subscribing. Continuing, don't just constantly use the same saddles and bridles. Experiment. Make sure to add a tier, don't use the default one. If you're going for efficiency, Fancy dressless bridle and raining saddle are always a safe bet, but if the tag set is purely for decoration, choose what actually looks the best. Accessorize When you're done with the base, bridle, saddle, saddle pad, go through the accessories and tag menu, choose the guidance from what you have already, but don't overcrowd, not every slot needs to be taken up. Search for the general colors in the accessory tabs, like if you have a coral green and pastel red set, search for green and red. If you don't find anything good, but your tag set is still missing something, search in your inventory. You probably have good accessories, just shout on random horses. Now, when you're finished, check the finished set in the inspect menu with full graphics to notice any imperfections. Unfortunately, this won't do much if you're in mobile. Let's move on to some more general tips. If you can't decide on a part of your set, ask others. People love answering polls and questions. If you're planning on dyeing the horse, especially with a robux or a vent dye, only do so after your horse's tag set is finished and you're satisfied with it. Do not waste any dyes in case you change your mind. If the tag set you're making is meant to be efficient, use prismatic, but if it doesn't look good with the set, use moonstone, as it works with anything and still gives a decent boost. This is more important if the tag set is for decoration, but use items that don't clip. When you're making the tag set, the set if it's going to be neon or not. Generally, it's not the best idea to mix both, as they can look messy. But that is all. If you have any tips of your own, please leave them in the comments. And remember that these tips are not rules set in stone. You can still make a perfectly beautiful tag set while ignoring literally everything I've just said. Also, I recently spent a short amount of money on this new hair, and I'm literally in love with it. Do not regret spending what I did. She's so beautiful and never cheesecake. To be honest, she's probably my fifth ear hair I've ever had. Yeah, just thought I'd share that.